Hello, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Sam's Blog. Um, hopefully, every single one of you guys there are um, doing just fine. And me here, I just got off work. I got home and um, I got a package. This is uh, from the Amazon and I ordered it. I ordered it a couple of days ago. Because I actually uh, trying to make a phone call on the uh, couple of uh, parts, auto parts store that I've talked to. And I asked the price about this hair filter. And it cost me like $22, $23 plus tax. And I had to drive to go to the store and pick it up, and of course, you know. But this one I got it from online and it cost me only $16.99. Uh, this is a Eco Guard engine air filter. Alright, so let's start to unbox this one. There you go. Engine air filter 2016-2017 Honda Pilot 3.5 liters Acura MDX 2017 Honda Ridgeline so those the one that will fit but mine is 2019 and I asked online if it will fit on my 2019 they said yes so let's see if this one will fit on my engine air filter box or the intake but first we're gonna turn on the car here because I'm gonna show you something um, oh it says a hold open let's close it oh there you go that's the one I'm gonna show it to you maintenance do now the code is a123 code a123 guys and this is a 2019 Honda Pilot so what's that code means is we have to change three things which is the oil chains of course which is due and the other one I showed you in my blog previous blogs which is uh, how to change the transmission fluid and also how to get the correct level of the fluid that you have to put on um, now the third one is to change the air filter so that's what we're gonna do today and it will be a simple one maybe a couple of minutes only or maybe less and uh, for mine it's easy you don't need any tools to do it and again this is 2019 Honda Pilot and let's go and take a look oh let me turn on the engine real quick there we go so there's three latches on this one to open the box here for the air filter and this is one right here what you do you just have to pop it out by bare hands it will be easy and there's another one here there you go as you can see right there there that's why you're gonna pop it out there boom and just pull it up like that straight and voila there you go wow look at that so dirty now really need to be changed so what we're gonna do plug and play, so we just have to put the new one on and does it say any arrows but anyway this is one way you cannot put it that way but only this way yeah when we take it to the blue so you just have to pop it like that set it and of course you need to hook there's a couple of hooks here I don't know if you can see it right there so you have to make sure you put that nice and tight there first Just like that 
and then you put the latch back on easy one two three and that's it easy easy peasy boom let's go back inside the car and let's see if we could uh, erase the code so let's start the engine here we go and let's go here how to reset that maintenance view you can do it here on the steering wheel or you can reset it from here but let's do it here for sure let's go home press the home button then you go you have to scroll down right there go setting is it setting or maintenance i guess it's a maintenance there you go then you go oil life it says and oil life is only five percent but i already changed that one so that's good to go So from here, what you're gonna do is press that button there, the enter button, for like, let's say 10 seconds, let's see what it's gonna do. There you go, and then you're gonna use the scroll down and up again, go down. It says they're all due items, item A only, item one, item two and three four and what you do is just go scroll back up and you go all due items so that will be the easiest one and then press enter and receipt completed it says so oil life is 100% back to 100% again as simple as that but anyway before I close this or end up this video I would like to thank my 86 subscriber hey thank you so much guys not to name you all but thank you I'm just making this for fun and um, trying to do a little bit of DIYs and hopefully in the future or, or you get an idea of how you do it and Hopefully this video will help you out too. So that's it for today. And thank you very much and God bless. I'll see you. Bye.